what is pattern load this is what we will discuss today as often it's a question asked by a student on linkedin i generally engage with young engineers and students on linkedin and here is the question hello sir today while designing one way slab i came across this clause i couldn't figure it out can you please let me know what does this clause meant hi all this is premjit here from civilera.com and let us discuss pattern loading today before we start i would like to request you to like and share this video and also subscribe to this channel civilera bangalore by clicking this bell button also request you to read the blog and the question in the forum the links of which i have given in the description of this video also join my community the link is provided as well coming back to pattern load I would like to show you the close first. So this is an IS 456 close 22.4.1. For a clear understanding before reading this close, let me tell you one thing that 22.4 if you refer it tells you that this close is more applicable for thumb rule calculations or analysis. This may have to be used for computer aided analysis as well in certain situations. coming to the close again i will read the b part of it first for a better understanding so here it says when design imposed loads does not exceed 3/4 of the design dead load the load arrangement may be design dead load and design imposed load on all the spans so what it means is that if you have a beam or a slab which is continuous in this manner and if the dead load and live load variation is not so huge you can consider the entire live load imposed load on all the spans at the same time that is if your floor load is say something like 10 kN per meter square say this is your dead load and if your live load is not 3/4 of that then you can apply the load on all the spans and it also gives you a note that for beams and slabs continuous over support 22.4.1a may be used so here coming to the first clause it says that consideration may be limited to combinations of one design dead load on all spans with full design imposed loads on two adjacent spans so basically this clause is asking you to consider variation in live load say what it means is that if you have a beam or a slab which is continuous like this there is a chance that you have live load only on this span and not on the others there is also a chance that your live load is only on one of the span and there is no live load here there can be people standing here there can be no people standing here there there can be some storage here there can be no storage here so this kind of variation of live load do happen and that will change your deflections and hence the forces in your members so the code by this clause wants to capture that differences and that's the reason it is given here so the first one says that design dead load on all spans with full design imposed load on two adjacent span if you have a frame like this with three spans here then it says two adjacent slabs needs to be considered for so for example the dead load will be throughout now you consider live load on the adjacent spans and leave out the other span after that you have to consider another one in this manner so all this needs to be calculated and applied and then analyzed Now the second clause here says that design dead load on all spans with full design imposed load on alternate spans so this also needs to be checked which means that if you have a frame like this or a structure like this you need to apply the load on alternate span so one case would be applying here the live load only here and here alternate so this is left out so you have to do one analysis with this and find out your moments and other forces and then design for that and then you have to do a second case where you apply live load here mind you dead load is throughout on all the base so this is to take care of the variation in the live load that can result this is accounting for a lack of live load here and a lack of live load here it can be practically possible that you store materials only here and nothing over here so this is taken care by these clauses now some of you may wonder 
more load is always going to be critical so is it not better if you have live load everywhere yes globally this is correct for the column design or for the foundation design or for the lateral analysis yes this is going to govern but then when it comes to the gravity design of a local member like this beam or a slab often this can become critical and these kind of loading will be more critical for storage buildings and warehouses where gravity load is going to govern and that's the reason that this clause is in here where if the live load is very less compared to the dead load you can ignore these considerations i will quickly show you any taps model a simple model for a better understanding so let me take the etaps model i have already applied the load and done the analysis as well here so you can see that in one of the model the entire spans are loaded and in the other one only the central span is loaded so let's see how it differs so i will first show you the deflected profile and you will be able to understand the way it is deflecting now you can see that if you focus on the central span in your first analysis in your first model where you have uniform load everywhere your deflection is less whereas if you look at the second model where you have load only here in the central span its deflection is more which means that the bottom steel of this particular member for this particular gravity load will have to be higher you can even check the moments so i will show you the moment diagram for these and you can see that here you have 37 whereas you have only 20 here so this is going to matter in your local analysis at least when you have a building like a storage building where you have a huge live load in place you may also wonder is it not very tedious then to model these loads in etaps because you have to apply load in one span and not apply the live load in the adjacent span and then check this as i said these are going to be governing only in a few kind of buildings where the live load variation is huge in a residential kind of a building and where the live loads are generally of the range of 3 or 4 or 5 may not matter much and i also want to show you a feature that etaps has which is in the design command where it lets you do certain pattern loading so if you look at your view revise preferences and then come down here you can see a pattern live load factor so if you give this value anything more than 0 then that will consider that amount of pattern loading let me also point out that your support moments are more here particular model so there will be a variation in the force distribution and it is likely to affect your design if it's a heavily loaded gravity governing structure so that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this video i request you to like and share and subscribe civilera channel also join our community for engaging with civilera on a daily basis on our posts and videos so thank you once more have a great learning